In this tutorial, how to show site cut and fill in sections. Hi, my name is Serge and welcome to Power Surge, where I show you everything that I know about Revit. Here, I have a topo surface that has been cut and filled using the graded region tool, as highlighted by the associated schedule. To learn more about cuts, fills and the graded region tool, check out this video. Following on from that video, this video demonstrates how to show cuts and fills in sectional views so that a user can snap to the topography as shown. As a starting point, to help visualize the cuts and fills in the model, use phase filters. To learn more about phase filters, have a look at this video, for which I have included the link in the comments section. Following along, I switch the phase filter to Demo and New, so that I can see the demolished existing topo surface in red and the new graded topo surface below in grey. Zooming in, on screen you can see where the site has been cut away to allow for the new grade. To visualize this in a sectional view, on the project browser, click on a floor plan where the topography is visible. Here, I have pre-drawn two sectional views cutting through points of interest on the subject site. Activating one of these sectional views reveals the site section, where the ground line is shown as a thick black line. While still in sectional view, Use the phase filters to view the existing site and the new graded site in context. And then switch back to the 3D view. We will come back to the sectional view in a moment. While in 3D view, take note of the sectional views of interest, then move along to the view cube. When at the cube, right click to reveal the drop down menu and find Orient to View then find the sectional view you are working with. Pausing for a moment will allow me to emphasize the benefit of using phase filters to identify the natural ground line that we need to snap to. Now, as I reorient the model to an isometric view, notice a sectional box has been added to the model slicing through the site at the associated section. To proceed, select the topo surface, then tap through to the existing site. And then isolate this element. From here, move up to the File tab and export this view in DWG format and save this file as required. It is important to note that AutoCAD will not be used throughout this workflow. The DWG is just a sacrificial element. Then immediately insert the exported DWG. It's important to click Orient to View. With all of that done, the DWG should now be visible in the model and it should line up perfectly with your model. Here it is on screen highlighted in blue. From the project browser, find the sectional view that you are working with. Using the Viz Graphic overrides, turn on the imported categories. The imported DWG is now visible in the sectional view. Select this and isolate it. Now on the keyboard, type DL to activate the Detail Line tool. I have pre-prepared a line type to represent the natural ground line. Then choose the Pick Lines tool and snap to the DWG. This will highlight one line segment, but using the Tab key, it is possible to select the entire ground line and then click to place. I'll hide reset and then go back to the Viz Graphic Overrides to turn off the DWG import.
And now, as I zoom in, the natural ground line has been accurately captured. Switching back to the 3D view, repeat the workflow, but now for the new site. Let's summarize the workflow. Step 1. Use face filters to visualize both the demolished existing topo surface and the new graded topo surface. Step 2. Select and isolate the topo surface. Step 3. Export the view as a DWG and name the file accordingly. Step 4. Import the export using the Orient to View option. Step 5. In a sectional view, isolate the DWG import. Step 6. Use the Pick Lines tool to snap to the ground line. Step 7. Override the Viz Graphics settings, controlling the import visibility and the natural ground line settings. Finally, with both the cut and fill ground lines drawn, add a filled region hatch pattern for graphic enhancement. And here is the final result. Notice filled regions have not been used to show the cut line. This is the native topo surface. Filled regions are only used for graphic representation to show where the site has been cut and also filled. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content. And I will see you in the next video.